Welcome back to another video where we are diving into a price prediction for Solana. As always, before we jump into today's topic, please make sure to drop a like on the video below if you enjoy the content. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon. We are dropping multiple videos every single week, so you're going to want to get notified when we're dropping those videos to stay on top of everything here in the rapidly moving crypto space and in order to hit your crypto goals. So as always, let's jump into today's topic, which is a price prediction for Solana at the hype of this current bull cycle, which we estimate to be in around Q4 of 2025. So about 12 to 18 months from today. So as always, we're going to look at Solana and talk about some of the fundamentals before we dive into the actual price prediction. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. But first things up, we're going to look at the fundamental analysis. We're going to look at some narratives. We're going to look at a little bit of technical analysis, the team behind Solana, as well as the tokenomics before diving into the actual price prediction. So first and foremost, what is Solana? Well, Solana has been branded... Um, the ethereum killer for the past few years and really rose to fame and notoriety during the course of the last bull cycle in 2021 solana had solana had a massive bull run in 2020 2021 um largely driven by the hype around nfts and the fact that solana is a layer one that is much more scalable much more cost effective and much much more efficient than ethereum and while ethereum is obviously designed to um you know do erc 721 and everything to do with nfts solana was so much more cost effective and much cheaper for creating projects and transacting on chain than ethereum during the last bull cycle that it managed to gain a huge huge market share during the course of the 2020-2021 cycle. Solana is the fourth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Um, when we exclude Tether, obviously, as a stable coin, uh, it is behind only Bitcoin, Ethereum, and currently slightly behind BNB in terms of overall market cap. But for all intents and purposes, Solana is a layer one blockchain that is made for mass adoption. And Again, the speed, um, the scalability and the efficiency is what really sets Solana apart and makes it a very user-friendly blockchain when compared to something like Ethereum and some of the extortionate gas fees that tend to creep up on Ethereum, especially during times of extremely high demand. So a number of different use cases for Solana, obviously, uh, we just mentioned NFTs, but payments, gaming, DeFi, and decentralized autonomous organizations are all falling under the remit of what Solana can cater to. Um, highlighting on their website, here are some examples for payments where they have a native application on Shopify now where merchants can leverage Solana Pay and allow their customers to check out in Solana, pay in Solana and cryptocurrency for their products directly. They've got an interesting ASICS case study where they helped ASICS do um, a whole bunch of sales and revenue within the first few weeks of them setting up Solana Pay on the ASICS storefront. So lots of different use cases. Um, NFTs was really the, the primary use case and how Solana really gains a huge amount of market share in that past bull cycle. Um, I just looking at some of the numbers here, um, hundreds of merchants using Solana Pay. This is for the e-commerce side of things specifically um 600 000 in revenue over the over five days for asics using solana pay and then total per transaction costs of 0 0.00025 cents so again thinking about this particular use case where merchants can leverage blockchains like solana for uh, minuscule transaction fees compared to you know the likes of shop pay or stripe the charge you know, one, two, three percent per transaction um, of the transaction amount. When you compare that to like a fixed cost of 0 
dollars or cents per transaction it just showcases the uh, large cost savings that Solana can actually cater to so what narratives is Solana really a part of and what narratives can we watch out for during the course of this bull cycle when it comes to Solana and its growth well obviously being the number for cryptocurrency by market cap Solana has its own narrative and a large ecosystem around it um, it's obviously a layer one as well it is becoming a larger and larger player in the DeFi space as we mentioned it's been branded somewhat of an ethereum killer over the past two years and then nfts making up another one of the large narratives surrounding solana so taking a snapshot of the entire solana ecosystem um obviously there's a large amount going on here but breaking it down into different wallets infrastructure um DeFi, and all of the applications and gaming nfts um oracles stable coins and other tools that are part of the ecosystem you can pause the video and dive into a bunch of this yourself, but safe to say that over the past five, six years, Solana has really grown into a very mature ecosystem with a huge amount of uh, applications, wallets, infrastructure, um, all making up um, the growth of the ecosystem over the past few years. If we take a look at DeFi in particular, um, we took a look at this in our other video for the Arbitrum price prediction as well. But when we look at total value locked um, in DeFi by all chains, Solana is currently sitting at number five when it comes to total value locked with about $2 billion um, in total value locked here at the end of February 2024. Um, it is behind Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain, Tron and Ethereum. So currently the fifth largest player in DeFi when it comes to total value locked. Uh, there's a bunch of different DEXs like Orca, like Radium, that are uh, growing and continuing to grow in terms of how much value is being exchanged, how much transaction volume is going through those decentralized exchanges. And we can see that um, out of those top five chains, uh, Solana is growing at the most exponential rate. It's got 57% growth over the past month alone. Uh, Ethereum only the, the, the only one behind it. And then Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain, um, in that 18 to 24% growth rate. So Solana, um, a lot of activity on Solana in terms of total value locked in DeFi during the 2021 bull market. And we're starting to see that growth ramp up again with this new bull cycle. So what does it mean when it comes to technical analysis? Well, as always, um, we can look at some of the, the technicals in terms of price growth over the past few years. Um, Solana hit an all-time high price of around 255 US dollars um, in November of 2021. Obviously, going into the bear market in the you know 12 to 14 months after that, uh, we hit a cycle low at around ten dollars at the end of 2022. Uh, we then ran through kind of this price discovery or price accumulation over the course of pretty much all of 2023. Solana was bouncing in this range of about 15 to 30 dollars for the entire uh, year until about october q4 when we began to see the growth take off once again and solana is currently up at just over uh just under 102 dollars and it's up 378 percent since october of 2023 so only in the past four to five months alone solana is up 378 percent moving from about 20 US dollars to 102 dollars so lots of interesting things to take away from this but obviously it was hit very hard during that bull cycle it was down pretty much 90 percent from all-time highs went through a large amount of price accumulation and is now seeing uh, a lot of growth over the past few months the Solana team we're not going to focus on this too much but obviously you know made up of some very intelligent individuals and a lot of um, very experienced people in the blockchain space. Uh, we're not going to focus on this too much only because they have pretty much proven themselves already because of the fact that Solana is the fourth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Very intelligent people behind this, very smart team, and they have built um, an incredible piece of technology that is uh, serving a large amount of use cases. So finally, moving on to the tokenomics, um, thinking about the tokenomics breakdown 
as it plays into the price prediction is super important. Uh, as we said, Solana currently sitting at about 102 US dollars today, February 24th, 2024. Uh, total market cap of 45 billion as of today. Um, current circulating supply of 441 million with a total supply of 570 million. So the delta between these, I believe, is being held by the Solana Foundation at the moment. Its max supply is technically infinite because it is... Um, an inflationary coin so that over time there is inflation but there's also deflationary metrics um, built into the tokenomics but currently the total supply sits at 570 million this does continue to grow but there is not too much of a delta between the circulating supply and total supply which is a good sign to see uh, we're over probably you know 60 to 70 percent of circulating supply versus total supply uh, which is very good compared to a lot of other projects. Um, however, when we think about the market cap at its all-time high, the market cap was about $75 billion when Solana hit that $255 all-time high in November 2021. The current market cap is $45 billion, so it's not too far off the, um, the all-time high market cap, which is an interesting thing to think about. Um, circulating supply at the all-time high was $302 million Solana and that circulating supply has grown since November 2021 from 302 million to 441 million today. So that means there has been about a 30 to 35 percent increase in the total circulating supply since Solana was at its previous all time high. Now we know that that means that the market cap basically has more work to do in order to. Um, bring the price higher because there is so much more tokens in the circulating supply uh, compared to the previous all-time high and the previous all-time high market cap. So a 45% increase is what we're seeing there since the previous all-time high. So um, tokenomic breakdown in terms of allocation, um, inflationary tokens are making up about 32%, community 22%, seed round 10%, Founding round 8%, team 8.4, foundation 8.4, validators, grants, strategic rounds, and coinless auction all making up between 1% and 4%. Um, again, it's pretty decent in terms of the way token allocation is laid out. I would like to see more um, tokens on the retail market, but Solana does have a lot of tokens that are locked in with stakers as well. It's got a very high percentage of the tokens. Um, staked and this is the Solana supply schedule over the course of the next few years until 2032 um, again because it's inflationary we can see that the staking rewards um, continue to increase the circulating supply as we move towards 2032 and that getting closer to that seven to eight hundred million mark versus the um, the 500 million 570 million we're talking about today so all of this is important to consider when it comes to making our price prediction. And we're going to dive into our bear base and bull case price predictions right now. So thinking about all the variables that we just mentioned, we do have to plug in some variables here. And that means that we do have to make certain assumptions when it comes to making these price predictions. So the first assumption for the bear case is that we're saying that the total crypto market cap can reach four trillion dollars at the height of the next bull cycle so when we put that in comparison to the previous bull cycle we did hit just under three trillion dollars so a four trillion dollar estimate um as a bear case is pretty conservative but uh the other variable that we're going to mention here is salama's dominance to help calculate what the total market cap could get to and as of today Solana is sitting at a 2.37% market dominance percentage. So what we're saying with this assumption is that if Solana simply maintains its current market dominance and the entire crypto market cap grows to 4 trillion, that would give Solana a market cap of around 95 billion. And the final variable that we need to plug in here is about 460 million sol in circulation by Q4 of 2025. So again, this is an estimate based on the inflation and based on the tokenomics that we mentioned earlier. Currently, we're sitting at about 440 million. So we're saying we're saying there's going to be an extra 20 million 
in circulation by Q4 of 2025. This number might be slightly higher, it might be slightly lower, but we have to make an assumption and give an estimate for this number. All of these variables, um, when we break them down, for Solana at a $95 billion market cap with 460 mil million sol in circulation, that gives us a bear case price target of about $208.26. Moving on to our base case scenario, um, again, we have to make some assumptions, but the assumption here for total market cap is that the entire crypto market cap can get to $6 trillion. What we're also saying is that Solana would perform slightly better and gain a 2.5% dominance. Again, personally, I think this may be even a little bit conservative because Solana has peaked out at over 3% dominance just last month in January of 2024. So a 2.5% dominance is very realistic. That would give Solana a $150 billion market cap. And then we divide that by 460 million Solana in circulation by around Q4 of 2025. That gives us a $326 Solana price prediction. Next up for the uber bullish scenario, um, thinking about a total crypto market cap reaching a peak of $8 trillion and then saying that Solana can regain its market dominance at 3% in terms of how it will perform um, at the height of this bull cycle. That would give Solana a market cap, a total market cap of $240 billion dollars and dividing that by the 460 million Solana that we estimate to be in circulation by Q4 of 2025, that gives us a Solana price of 521 US dollars. So obviously Solana sitting at about $100 as of today. Um, the bear case gives us a, you know, uh, a basically a 2x return. Uh, our, a base case gives us just over a 3x return and a bull case gives us just over a 5x return from today's prices. I think it's also worth remembering just how much Solana has grown um, in the past, you know, three to four months. It's up over 378% already since Q4 of 2023. So it's, it's already made a big move in terms of its growth <clears throat> and is really kicking off um, its growth for this bull cycle with... Uh, fantastic performance over the past three to four months. So this is factored in, you know, we had to think about this when it came to making the price prediction because of course it would be great to say that Solana could do a 10x from here and maybe it can, but it has had 378% growth in the past three to four months alone. So still lots of room for growth, but, you know, thinking about realistically how much market cap can Solana capture by Q4 of 2025, this is our price prediction. So as always, um, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on it below. We're dropping multiple videos every single week with lots more price predictions to come. Uh, please make sure you hit the bell notification icon to get notified when these videos drop. Um, let us know in the comments, where do you think Solana is going um, in terms of price at the height of this bull run? Uh, do you think it can break $500? Do you think it'll go closer to 1000 Or are you much more conservative? Drop a comment below with your price prediction and let us know and we will catch you in the next one.